Hello everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. We're in Newcastle, Virginia, or right above it at the Overlook. Boy, isn't that a pretty beautiful sight there. Very pretty. Speaking of pretty, let's go see what's in the fridge today, guys. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer is Sergeant Pepper and it comes from Cambridge Brewing. This is one of them that Brandon sent me. This is batch number one, bottled February 2012. I'm going to read what's on the side of the bottle here guys. Enjoy the show. Four fab peppercorns harmonized with spicy hops while rye malt, our Belgian yeast, Hold down the backbeat. This groovy farmhouse ale is limited release, so far out with food and guaranteed to raise a smile. CBC was founded in 1989 in Kendall Squares, Cambridge, where we've been crafting classic, unique, and experimental beers ever since. Keep an eye out for our next very special offering. Thanks for supporting local craft beer. Cheers, Phil and Will. So, uh, very nice. Got the date on here. It's a saison. Uh, says six. I'm trying to read what it says. It was six. It says six point oh seven on the label here. I'll call the bottom. And beer average has got six percent. So I guess that's point oh seven. I don't know how you got it all the way down to the tenth. It looks like so. Uh, pretty nice, guys. Uh, Brandon, thanks, guy. I'm not a big uh, farmhouse saison guy, but uh, I enjoy those occasionally, so we'll see where this one ends up. Uh, they're out of Cambridge, Mass, like I said, saison, 6% spring serving, so uh, they brew this and bottle it for this time of year. The food pairings for this cuisine is the curry and the Thai. The cheeses are earthy, Camembert, Fontina, your nutty, Asiago, Colby, Parmesan. And the meat for this is poultry, fish, and shellfish. And the cheeses you can, I mean, it's, a, it's, it's like an IPA too. You can even use Gorgonzola and Limburger. It's a, it's, it's a fairly strong beer and, and it goes well with the stronger dishes. So, the glassware day, pint, becker, stein, mug, a tulip, oversized wine glass. I got the pint glass, guys. It's uh, 6%, so I usually don't get the du double glass out until it's uh, at least 7 or a uh, really nice porter or stout. So. Uh, it's not recommended for a long period of cellaring, but it's 6%. It's going to keep for a year or two, but they got the date on the bottle, so you know. So, let's get it up and see what we got on this one, guys. I guess this will be a local beer that Brandon can get there in Massachusetts where he's from. Definitely not seen this here. Alright guys, poured absolutely no head whatsoever. A lot of bubbles in the glass trimming up. Very, very carbonated. I'm surprised it didn't pour a head. Well, that's uh, very unusual. It's got a nose on it. It's very amber color too. It's clear. I can see through it. I mean, it's uh, got just a slight chill haze on it, but not too bad. It's not cloudy whatsoever, so. I'm getting the Belgian yeast and the bananas and... But that's definitely the peppercorns. They're coming through. It's got a little spicy peppery. But it does have a nice uh, banana. It's got the funk there, too, though. A lot of bubbles in this one. It really is. I'm surprised not to have had that many bubbles in it. So, Brandon, everybody, cheers. The peppercorns are definitely in the taste. That is a warm, spicy beer. A little bit of lemon in there, too. That's very pleasant. If you like jalapeno peppers or, or hot spicy food, Mexican food, that reminds me of uh, Seco de Mayo. Uh, so I just want to say cheers to everybody there. I wanted to get a Mexican beer uh, to do here, but 
I could not find one here. All the time they've got around here is Coronas and, and they have Modelo's if you want to buy 12 of them at a time. And guys, those, those Mexican macro lagers, I don't believe I want to buy 12 of them just to do one. So, sorry I don't have a Mexican beer to review. If anybody knows of a good craft Mexican beer that they would recommend that I could find around here maybe in Virginia or be willing to ship me one or send me one or trade me one, I'd be willing to, to review a good craft Mexican beer. So, uh, guys south of the border, uh, hear my call. So, this is pretty nice. Definitely got a peppery, the peppery taste to this. Four different peppercorns, so I was expecting that. I was, I was expecting a little more in the nose that I, that I got, but definitely in the taste. It's very pleasant. This has got a hot, spicy back end on it. So just, uh, if you don't like warm, hot, spicy stuff, you're probably not going to like this. And this is right out of the fridge, so we're going to see what it ends up after it warms up a little bit, guys. And let the other half taste it and see what she thinks of it. And I'll be right back when you're the final chug on this one. Right now, I believe I like this one. It's a, got like it's got a little jalapeno or something in it, but it's the peppercorns. Be right back, guys. All right, guys, got just a little left here. Maybe just a little more than a little. Let me get one more sip off of that. Wow. I will say this is peppery. Wow, 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 wow. The the pepper that they use on that, they use four different peppers on this. I mean, it's, uh, we got the black peppers, and uh, green peppers, and the white peppers, and pink. Well, let me tell you what they do. The, the black pepper has the warmth. That gives you your, the hotness of the pepper, like black pepper. And green is supposed to be herbal. And I get a little bit of that. And the white is supposed to be the earthiness. I guess that goes, I'm, I'm, I'm characterizing that with the farmhouse smell, I guess, of the herbal part of it. Or the hops. And the pink is supposed to be floral, which is in basically in the same line as far as that. I don't know about all those different aromas. I get a peppery smell, but I definitely get a peppery taste. A little bit just wet. It's, it's so warm. Uh, the closest I can say to this, and, and not in a bad way, was the Cave Creek chili beer that I drank. I never didn't review it because it was horrible. It has the pepper in the bottle. I mean, it's got the jalapeno pepper down in the bottle, and it was like drinking battery acid. Not like hot stuff, but it was over the top. And this is uh, this is warm. Don't have no pepper as far as pepper uh, jalapeno peppers, but it does have peppercorns in it. So I'm rambling on, guys. Uh, Final chug. Tasty. Different. Brings a bead of sweat to my head. It's, uh, it's that warm in the, in the, in the drink. So, uh, got the date on the bottle. Brandon, I appreciate you sending this to me. Guys, happy Cinco de Mayo. This is as close to a Mexican beer, which is a hot, spicy pepper beer that I can get. Other than buying 12... 12 of a Modelo or a Corona, homie ain't going to do that. So guys, happy holidays guys south of the border. This is going to get, I'm going to give this a 7, which is a B plus. Uh, not my style, like I said, it probably might get a better grade than that if somebody liked the farmhouse uh, style. But this is, uh, this is tasty and different. A little too warm for me, even though I like spicy stuff. I'm still sweating. Look at here. Got the little bees sweating up on me. It is spicy, guys. Red Bear has 89 overall and 94 in style, so somebody liked it in the style there. And Beer Abbott comes up with the 86, so a little bit above average on that. So this is a pretty tasty beer if you'd like the warm, spicy stuff. To me, it tastes like somebody just took it's too much black pepper. I'm getting too much heat. It's like somebody took black pepper and just poured it in there. So it was a little too hot on the back end for me, guys. The other half liked it though. She could, she can't taste the warm. Uh, hot stuff as, as, as easy as I can, but it's a decent beer, guys. So, if you see it, pick it up. I don't know what the distribution is on this one. Uh, if it goes out of Massachusetts or not, it may be something local to uh, to Brandon. So, Brandon, it was tasty, guys. Hey, you know what the deal is. Yep, tomorrow we're going to look in that fridge. If you need a shirt, they're right behind me. I still got a few openers. Come back tomorrow. See you then.